The second reason why return to work is important is because it can have a great impact on your organization's bottom line. An EMOD is used by insurance companies as a multiplier in calculating your workers' comp premium. Almost all businesses have an EMOD, and the industry average is 1.0. If it falls below 1.0, your organization is doing pretty well, and that is going to be reflected in your workers' comp premium. If, however, your organization's EMOD is above 1.0, that means your premium will most likely be higher since your organization's claim costs are higher than the average for your industry. The real kicker is that EMOD stays with your business for three years. So if you've had an exceptionally bad year with claims, you'll be paying increased premiums for three years. Just think of if you get three speeding tickets in a year, that's definitely going to affect your auto insurance. So you want to watch the same thing with workers' comp claims. And the biggest driver of your organization's EMOD is its lost time claims. And that is because we have to pay state-mandated wage loss benefits, and those can add up very quickly. And EMOD rules grant a special 70% discount for claims that do not involve workers' comp wage loss benefits. That means by returning an employee to work within the state-prescribed waiting period, you can take advantage of this discount. And it will have more favorable impact on your EMOD and consequently on your workers' comp premium. So now you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is a waiting period? Why is that important? Those are valid questions, especially since these terms can be very cryptic and confusing. The so-called waiting period is a specific number of days that need to pass before an injured employee is eligible to receive workers' comp wage loss benefits. This is your window of opportunity to get your, the injured worker back to work before those wage loss benefits kick in. We're hoping that one of the biggest things you can take away today is understanding that waiting period and knowing how to use it. And the number of waiting days, or number of days in the waiting period is different in each state. Why don't we look at all of yours? 